A new cancer treatment for dogs is putting Washington State University in the spotlight. This summer, Pullman's Veterinary School will offer the world's first large-scale bone marrow transplant program for dogs suffering from cancer. As KXY4's Tanya Dahl reports from Pullman, scientists spearheading the effort say it's long overdue. Tens of thousands of dogs are diagnosed with lymphoma every year. Now WSU is offering a unique program, bone marrow transplants to help man's best friend. Bone marrow transplants have helped save human lives since the 90s. Now that science is being used to help man's best friend. <coughs> Washington State University is making history. This July, the veterinary school hopes to become the first ever to offer bone marrow transplants to dogs. Other universities are headed towards this, but we hope to be the very first in the world. The cancer treatment means less radiation exposure and in some cases longer lifespans for dogs fighting lymphoma. But it isn't cheap. It can cost between fifteen and twenty thousand dollars because of the intensive procedure. And what we're doing is we're either removing a bit of bone marrow and hiding it from the radiation in the refrigerator and then returning it after the dog has been treated with radiation or we're borrowing bone marrow from a sibling or a parent. Not all dogs can undergo the treatment. A vet needs to refer a dog with lymphoma to WSU, be screened, undergo radiation, and then have a good bone marrow match. <coughs> Those behind the program say it's long overdue. After all, Brian reminds us, it's dogs that help shed light on human cancer research. Tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people have benefited from that technology and we're trying to complete the circle and return the technology to dogs to benefit the companion dogs that need it. A dog is already being screened for the procedure that's slated to start this July. Reporting from the WSU campus in Pullman, Tanya Dahl, KXLY 4.